Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Westbrooks. If you're new here, welcome. In the past, this channel has been all about online teaching, primarily without school. And while I still plan to make videos about online teaching, this channel will not just be about online teaching specifically. I'm gonna be shifting the focus of this channel to be about just ways to make money from home and be your own boss. If you guys still wanna see videos about OutSchool, I'm happy to make those videos too because OutSchool is still my primary source of income at the moment. But the past six months, I have been branching out and finding new ways to make money from home online. And so I'm really excited to share those ideas with you guys. In this video today, I'm gonna to be recapping 2022, what I made with OutSchool, what my teaching schedule looks like right now, and what other online income sources I've been bringing in. And I'm also gonna share with you guys some other online side hustles that I've been doing and that you can try too to make money from home. For all the subscribers that have been a part of this channel from the very beginning, thank you for watching this video and I'm so sorry I have not posted in so long. 2022 was a really busy year and I've been really hard at work trying to diversify my income. So I'm back and I'm ready to start sharing those things with you guys in ways that you can also make money from home online. If you're ready to hear what I've been up to in 2022 and my pay for 2022 without school, then smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to also subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Okay, so first we're gonna start with some life updates. If you've been a part of the channel for a long time, then you'll know who Sophie is. She was our Chihuahua Rat Terrier mixed doggy that you see in this photo. She was almost 18 years old and she did pass away in 2022. So I just wanted to update everyone on that because obviously you wouldn't see her in my videos now. But on a more positive and uplifting note, we did get two puppies, Jay and Daisy. They're from the same litter. Um, it's a brother and a sister. We got Jay and Daisy about six weeks after Sophie passed away. I was just so, so, so sad without her and um, working from home, it was just super lonely. And so we got Jay and Daisy. This is what Jay and Daisy look like now because it's been a long time since I posted. So they're all grown up now. They just turned a year old. They are so much fun. And here's one more picture because I'm a proud dog mama. And here's one more picture of Daisy and Jay. They're currently right next to me as I'm recording this video. So if you hear any noises, it's probably Jay and Daisy. So on to income sources. Like I mentioned earlier, out school is still my primary source of income. I'll talk more in a second about how much I made with out school in 2022, as well as a current update for how things are going so far in 2023. My second source of income that is my primary focus on what I'm working on right now and really building this up is Amazon KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, there's a ton of videos about this, um, but this is my primary uh, focus right now on what I'm working on because I would like my Amazon KDP income to replace my out school income in the next year. My third source of income for 2022, it was a very small portion of my income, was Etsy. Um, through Etsy print on demand. Um, and I will talk more about that in a second. And my fourth source of income, which was again, very, very small, which was teachers pay teachers. And I'll talk more about that also about what I'm uploading to um, that site as well. Okay, so first is Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. I first learned about this around October of 2022, um, and so I started publishing a few books, and um, this sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. Whenever I first heard about publishing books, I um, did not think I was capable of doing that because I'm not a writer, but Amazon KDP is not just for writers who write novels or what's called high content books. That's like novels. There's also two other subsets on Amazon of books that you can sell. Um, one is called low content, which is very, very little words and most of the pages are repeated. So like journals, um, log books, notebooks, things like that, that you actually can create. I'll show you how to do that. I won't show you a full tutorial on, on how to do notebooks and journals today, um, but you definitely can publish notebooks and journals to Amazon and it's free to publish. The second type of books that you can publish um, are called medium content books, which means that most of the pages are not repeated. So those are things like coloring books um, or like activity books, um, word search books, things like that, which you also can create um, pretty easily and publish your own books to Amazon. So in this video today, I'm not going to go over my Amazon KDP um, income right now because um, I didn't really start making money from Amazon KDP until 2023. I think I sold my first book um, in December. I think it was like Christmas Eve. Um, so really, I'm going to make a separate video that goes over what I've made the past six months with Amazon KDP and kind of go into more detail on that. 
So I know one thing for me whenever I first started doing Amazon KDP was I had no idea what type of books were published through Amazon KDP, meaning that anyone just like me or you can create something, download it as a PDF, and then upload it to Amazon. Again, it's free to do this, um, but I will show you an example. So I just searched coloring book for kids on Amazon, and here are the results. We're going to not click on these sponsored listings because that uses that person's ad spend, which we don't want to do. So I'm going to click on the first one right here that is not sponsored. And this was published June 7th of 2023. And if you scroll all the way down, this is how you can tell um, if it's independently published. If it says this right here, um, independently published, that means it was published through Amazon KDP, which basically just means that this person created the inside of this coloring book. They created all these pages. They downloaded it as a PDF. Um, they created the cover, most likely using Canva, downloaded the cover as a PDF, and then uploaded those two separate files to Amazon KDP. Um, they chose their title, and they wrote their book description, chose their keywords, chose the price that they want to sell it at, and then published it. Um, again, it's free to publish through Amazon KDP, which makes it a super um, low-cost, low-risk business to start. And that's why I really was interested in starting it was because it did not really cost a lot of money up front. Um, I'll talk more in a second about what you kind of need to get started with this because there, you know, there are some costs um, with it, but to actually publish the books, it is free. If you are interested in publishing books through Amazon KDP, one essential subscription that I have is Creative Fabrica. I bought this almost right away whenever I first wanted to do KDP publishing and it has paid for itself over and over and over again. Right now it's only $4.99 per month. Um, that price is charged up front for the entire year, um, but I promise you only $60 for the entire year is such a good deal. And I do have a link down below um, that if you use it, it does help support my channel and support me for making these videos, but also you get a free um, bundle download for using my link. So here's what it looks like. And you can see the price is the exact same if you choose to um, get a subscription. Um, but you just get a free um, download for using my link and then you also get free 10 downloads as well whenever you first sign up. So like I said, Creative Fabrica is such a essential tool if you're going to be doing Amazon KDP or also Etsy, which I'll talk about in a second. But they have different fonts that you can use. I'll do videos in the future about how to upload these fonts to Canva and how you can use them. They have graphics that you can use. If you actually search um, KDP on Creative Fabrica, um, a ton of different interiors, different graphics are going to come up that you can use um, for your Amazon KDP books. Um, if you want to do notebooks, there's like notebook interiors on here, planners, um, log books, coloring books, activity books. There's tons of resources on here that you can use. Um, now, I would not just use them as is because other people could have done that as well. And you want to always make sure that you're uploading content that is unique um, and not like anyone else that's already uploaded it to Amazon KDP because that could get um, you in trouble down the road with Amazon. So you don't want to do that. But it's definitely a great resource um, to have. And once you have a Creative Fabrica subscription, everything that you see here is all going to be able to be downloaded for free. Um, you only see the prices here because I'm not logged into my account because I wanted to show you what the price is um, per year. But everything that you see can all be downloaded for absolutely for free. Um, all of the graphics, the fonts, the interiors, um, everything. And I also always check this print on demand button right here. Um, print on demand means that it's printed or made whenever someone orders it. So KDP is considered print on demand and so is Etsy. Um, so I always check this box right here just so I'm, I'm only seeing things that can be used for commercial purposes and for print on demand purposes, meaning that um, I can upload it and I can sell it and it can be printed for someone who orders it. So this is definitely a super valuable subscription and I highly recommend it. And you can also use this for um, Etsy print on demand, which I'll talk about next.
So Etsy print on demand is another source of income that I started in 2022. I'm currently not doing Etsy print on demand right now. I just kind of wanted to dip my toes into it last fall to see which one I liked more, either Amazon KDP or Etsy print on demand. And I really liked um, Amazon KDP more. So I put Etsy on hold for a while, but I definitely do plan to come back to this whenever I have more time in my schedule. If you're interested in Etsy print on demand, um, one YouTuber that I highly recommend is Cassie Johnson. Her channel is one that I watched most frequently whenever I was learning how to do print on demand and she offers a lot of tutorials and step-by-step -step videos on what to do. So I highly recommend her channel. Now, if you're wondering what print on demand is, um, this is exactly what it is. So if you type in um, t-shirt or ornament or so many other different products that you can um, sell, but let's just say t-shirt. Um, do you notice how these two shirts right here are the same model, just wearing different shirts? Well, that's because this is actually just a mock-up. A mock-up is just basically a picture of, of a model wearing something, um, or it could be like a mock-up of, you know, like an ornament or um, a mug. Um, but this mock-up is, is of this person wearing this color t-shirt. And then what you do is you buy that mock-up. They're usually just a few dollars and you can buy them on Etsy um, or also Creative Fabrica too. That's one thing. If you go to Creative Fabrica and you type in um, mock-up, there's all of these mock-ups See, um, of t-shirts, there's mugs, sweatshirts, and then you put your design on those and then you can upload your design to Etsy for a price and use a partner such as Printify to print and ship your item to the customer once someone orders it. So it sounds super complicated, but I promise you it's not. I started October of 2022 and did it for three months and I did manage to make money from it as well. I'll tell you how much in a second, but you can create a design, um, put your design on a mock-up and then you list it for sale on Etsy, and then you link your print provider, which is like Printify or Printful. You link their information to your Etsy listing, and then once someone orders it, it goes to Printify, that's who I used, and then they print and ship your item to the customer, and basically you keep the difference of what you listed it for and what Printify charges you to actually print and ship your product, then what is left is your profit, and you keep that. I also do have a link down below if you would like to start your own Etsy shop. Um, you get 40, um, 40 free listings just by using my link. I did not use anyone's link whenever I opened up my Etsy shop and I regret it because it really only took a few listings um, for me to make to start making money and I wished that I would have had um, 40 free listings. That would have been super nice. They're only about 20 cents per listing, but that definitely adds up whenever you're, you're listing multiple products. So I highly recommend, um, using either my link or someone's link that you can find to get your 40 listings for free. So I highly recommend Cassie Johnson's YouTube uh, channel if you're interested in Etsy print on demand and learning more about that. But now I'm going to go ahead and tell you how much I made from my Etsy shop in 2022. So I only started in October. I think I had my first listing like the very beginning of October. And through October and um, through December, I made about $700 in profit. Now I had close to 100 listings on my Etsy shop by the end of December, but really only two of those listings really sold for me. I sold a couple here and there of t-shirts and mugs, but really um, a big source of that $700 came from two Christmas ornaments. So I used a print partner called Printify. I just uploaded my designs that I made on Canva. I uploaded those to Printify. I linked my Printify and my Etsy store. I did my listing photo. I set my price. Then once someone ordered those ornaments, that got sent to Printify. They printed. They shipped my ornaments. And then what was left between my price that I charged and what Printify charged me was my profit. So it does take time to learn how to create listings, how to create good designs and all of that. But I was able to make $700 in my first three months doing Etsy. So if I can do it, you can do it. And there's a ton of videos that can help you um, learn how to do Etsy print on demand. So like I said, after December and really after like the Christmas rush was over, uh, my sales basically stopped, which was fine with me because I really wanted to focus on Amazon KDP anyway. 
But like I said, I do want to come back to Etsy print on demand whenever I have more time in my schedule because I do think it's a very lucrative business and it's um, it's a very low cost to start. Really all you need is um, a Creative Fabrica subscription, which I already showed you earlier, and you need Canva Pro, and then you need like the 20 cents per listing to list your Etsy products on Etsy. Um, and again, if you use that Etsy link below, then you get your 40 uh, first listings for free. My very smallest income stream from 2022 was Teachers Pay Teachers. So I only have a few products in my store, um, but those products do kind of sell in the fall time of year. So I did make some sales. I have not uploaded anything recently to this store. I do plan to upload more products in the future, but again, it's just the time to do so. Um, right now I'm spread pretty thin with the things that I have on my plate. So I do want to come back to this income stream, but just not at the moment. And my primary source of income is OutSchool. If you're new to this channel and you don't know what OutSchool is, OutSchool is a marketplace for people, um, not just teachers, but just people who have something to share with kids um, where you can offer classes. So there's so many different classes that people offer on OutSchool. Um, some are former teachers or current teachers like myself. So I teach pre-K on OutSchool. Um, some people do Minecraft classes. Some people do coding classes. Some people do cooking classes. Some people do um, Roblox classes. There's so many different types of classes that you can offer on OutSchool. Um, so it's really just a marketplace for anyone that wants to teach kids um, a certain skill. So I joined OutSchool in March of 2020, right as the COVID pandemic first hit. In March of 2020, I was still a public school teacher. I was in my fifth year, and I was a special education behavior teacher. So when I joined out school in March, um, we had just left for spring break, and I never ended up going back to the classroom because I started out school. And by July of that summer, um, my income was so much more teaching on out school than it was as a full time teacher. So I did resign that July, and I've been doing out school. Um, full-time basically ever since. Um, I say full-time, but I really don't work full-time hours, which we'll talk about in a second, but um, out school is my primary source of income. So we're going to go ahead and get into my pay for 2022. So in 2022, I made $144,745.16. I'm super grateful to be able to make um, this amount of money working from home. Um, my husband and I both work from home and um, just to be home all day with each other and our dogs, I'm super grateful for that. If you divide my yearly income by the amount of hours that I worked in 2022, which was 1,109 hours, basically 1,110 hours. If you divide that, I made 130 dollars and 41 cents an hour. Now this amount per hour is only my direct teaching time. Um, I still do have to um, prep materials, prep my lessons, do parent emails. So there is a lot of outside prep as well, but that amount per hour is how much I made while I was actually teaching. So I worked 1,109 hours. Again, that's actual teaching time. And if I divide that by the amount of weeks that I worked in all of 2022, which is only 48 weeks, I usually take about four weeks off per year, um, one week in the summer, one week for Thanksgiving, and then about two weeks during the holidays. If you divide my hours by the weeks that I worked in 2022, that averages to be about 23 hours a week. So again, that's actually 23 hours of me teaching on camera. Um, I still do have prep work outside of class. But again, I'm super grateful for those numbers because this was way more than I made as a public school teacher and I'm uh, very happy that I found out school. So recap, 23 hours a week for basically all of 2022, and then it was $130.41 per hour. Now I do still have to take out taxes from this. Um, this is what OutSchool actually paid me, that $144,000 amount, but whenever they pay me, um, we have our CPA take out all the taxes, um, so I don't actually get to keep all of that money. 
my current schedule for out school right now in 2023 is Monday through Thursday. I did cut out my Friday class um, earlier this year. I want to say it was like February that I chose to um, make my class Monday through Thursday instead of Monday through Friday just for mental health. Um, I just think that this works better for me and um, my schedule and being able to plan. I work 8.30 a.m. to about 2.35 Central Standard Time. I'll give you my schedule in a second, but these are generally the hours that I work on Monday through Thursday. I'm only teaching one class right now. It is a pre-K and kindergarten class, and I'm only teaching six classes per day. At one point on out school, I was teaching like 11 classes a day or even up to 14 some days. Um, so I'm very happy with the six classes per day. This is actually a very recent change. I was doing seven classes per day up until last week whenever I made a schedule change and just chose to do six classes per day. And here's my current schedule. So each class is about 35 minutes with a tiny break in between. And by 2.35, 2.40, I'm done for the day. So now we're going to go ahead and go to my OutSchool um, dashboard so you can see um, what I've made so far for 2023. Okay, so here are my stats for 2022, just in case you wanted to see like the monthly breakdown. I did add all these numbers up and that's how I got the 144,000 number. Um, but January of 2022 made about 13,000, February 15, March 15, April about 12, May uh, 13, uh, June, I made only 8,000 that month. In June of 2022, I, I did go on vacation that month. So that's why this number is a little bit lower because I took a week off. July was 15,000. August was 13. September was almost 10,000. October was 11,000. November, 9. December was only 7,000. I did take two weeks off, I believe, in the month of December. And now we're to January. So January, I made about 8,000. Um, in February, 8,000. March, 8,000. April, 10,000. May, 8,000. June, 8,000. And then July, so far this month, right now it's July 14th, I've made um, a little over 3,000. I will say right now enrollments are very slow for July. Um, if you're a teacher on out school, I'm sure you know that enrollments are lower all across the board. A lot of kids are on vacation, so this really isn't surprising if you're a teacher on out school, I'm sure. So if you scroll down um, here to my insides, you can see last year um, I made 144,000, and then so far in 2023, I've made $55,363. And this is how many hours I've worked so far this year. So we're about halfway through the year exactly. Now, 2021 was a whole nother level of income. Um, that was peak COVID and I made um, 195,000 that year. So that was just incredible. Um, every year I've kind of cut back on how much I'm teaching just so I don't get burnt out. So 2022, I definitely cut back. And then this year, again, I'm also cutting back on the amount of classes I'm teaching per day so I don't get burnt out and I can still deliver high quality classes to my students. And if you scroll all the way up, you can see my lifetime earnings of $461,159. And I'm super happy with this amount. Um, again, I'm very grateful to have found out school and I love working from home and I love teaching my students. Um, I am trying to work on other passive forms of income that I can build up to hopefully replace my out school income um, in the next year because my husband and I do want to start a family soon and I know being a parent is very busy so I definitely want to um, build up more passive income that I can kind of work here and there. Um, and not really a set teaching schedule um, so we can become parents. So that is my goal and that's what I'm working towards. All right guys, that is it for today's video. If you like this content and wanna see more like it, please like this video. Don't forget to leave comments down below on what you wanna see from me. Do you wanna see more out school videos, um, Etsy videos, KDP videos? What do you wanna see from me and how I can help you guys make money from home? I will see you guys in the next video, bye.